Oh yeah, yeah, and that was the the fifty-seven precepts of Zote. That's right. Autoplay in the first melee run, Ryan just started talking. That is interesting. Alright, recording has begun. We're back with this new well different than the old one. Uh melee only run. Let's get in there. So we had a we had a pretty scary time yesterday. Oh man, I thought we were gonna lose there for a little while. Um this one is not as hard as the previous melee run. However, we are going high wealth and we just hit raid cap yesterday and I almost I almost lost. I really thought actually when it was happening, I was like I was like, oh my god, am I gonna replay this run? Because this has been a long run. Am I gonna replay this if we lose right here? And I thought we were gonna lose. But we didn't. Um, but we are at raid cap now. Um, we're about to get another pawn here soon. And Cassandra just hit us with a bunch of manhunters, um, 80 something manhunting animals. And so she is not on cooldown, so she can hit us another time. When was that? The ninth. So by the end of the 12th, she hasn't hit us. I guess we're safe for a little bit ish. Well, not quite the 12th. In the moment you beat up Rimworld, I don't know, but it's awesome. Keep on coming. Have any colonists? No melee gods have died. No, no melee gods have died. And those are the only ones I consider colonists. So, uh, but yeah, we're at, we're at, uh, raid cat, which is a little scary. So, um, we also got our first person on, we, had, we did a lot yesterday. We got our first person on Luciferium. We got another melee god. We upgraded the base quite a lot. We got cataphract gear. Like, uh, it's, it's kind of crazy. Crack, unfortunately, uh, has dementia, but eventually Luciferium will heal that. Oh, you know what? We have a healer mech serum. Oh, if that hits, if that hits dementia, that'd be perfect. Can we have a healer mech serum? Yeah, we do. We've had it forever. So I think I'm going to use that on him and not wait on the Luciferium to finish that. And hopefully it hits it. We'll see. How resistant are vampires to fire? Not at all. They actually run from it. If fire happens near a sanguifage, they they become uncontrollable and run away from it. So, I'll as well add some gold floors. No. This is still unstable. Yeah, I I don't know if they actually I don't know if the gene transfer has gone to live yet or not. But I'm still on unstable just in case, since that's like what this run is based around. You know. Uh, so let's see how we are on the cooldown for the genes. Speaking of. Eight days, eight days. And we got this, uh, joint event thing coming up in five. Okay. How do I keep up my loose stream supply? I go and buy it and, uh, I go to ancient dangers. Yeah. Ancient dangers and traitors, basically. Oh, we got a steel scan in the base. Nice. Excellent, excellent. We are working on cataphract armors now. Okay, so Crack, I am going to use the healer max serum. Come on, Crack. That way we don't have to wait a season. That is so stupid that that can happen. That is so annoying. Psychic suppression can't be removed. And so we use that and it did nothing. It, it literally hit psychic suppression. I didn't care if it hit anything else. I just wanted to hit anything, hopefully dementia, but I wanted to hit anything to make it more likely that when Luciferum had it fit, had its seasonal tick that it would hit dementia anyway. But suppression cannot be cured. So it's, it's stupid that that even in the game, like why is that even a possibility? Psychic suppression is not, it's, it's a, Problem causer on the map. It's not. It can't be cured. That makes me wonder or worry that loose fear is going to hit that also. Use dev mode. No, I'm not going to use dev mode. John Crispa. Okay, welcome in. Doth Hobo. Welcome in. The dementia prevented it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to leave the suppressor up. Screw it. Getting the suppressor up indefinitely? Yeah, I think I am. This is going to help us with uh, humanoid raids in the long run, and we really need that dead mode as if. So, yeah, I probably will. Scan uranium. What about my anium? My my uranium? My uranium? My uranium, yeah. Anium? 
All right, we're gonna let them start working out there again. Gotta make sure we pull them back in. Been watching on YouTube. I uh, just wanna pop in and say, love the way you interact with the chat. That's awesome, yeah. More human than other streamers. I am at least, I'm at least 23% more human than most streamers. Uh, thank you, thank you for watching over there. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, kill that tortoise. Kill it more. That was our tortoise, by the way. What about my anium? How do you grind crafting? So crafting is... Crafting experience is given as they are doing the task, not as they complete it. So you basically just want them to take as long as possible with a craft, and that's it. And you can always cancel it before they're done. You will join us so or die. Have that's your person time. craft in like a dark, cold outside area, as long as it's not going to make them break down. And have them craft something that takes a long time, and you can just cancel it before it's done, like plate armor even, or or whatever. Uh, it's up to you, but basically the more time spent crafting is all it is. So whatever whatever that ends up being in your game, um, yeah, doesn't matter what it is, just time spent crafting. That's it. That's it. Not AI program to be good at video games. That's what people were telling me last night. <sighs> so. I I don't I don't subscribe to this notion, but I appreciate that other people do. Uh my dog, give me the gift sub to uh Alienetic. Alienetic is what I'm going with. Thank you, Minoc. It's Queen B! Oh, I hit the Windows key. <laughs> Thought I disabled that. Going B. That's exactly what an AI would say. I'm not gonna I don't want any spoilers for the the, the game I'm playing. But last night I made it to um this this new place in in uh in hollow knight and um the very first time i ever fought a, a boss on radiant mode which i don't want to know what radiant mode is but the very first time i fought a boss on it i killed it without getting hit so i went hitless on the very first time seeing it on radiant mode and people are like well that's not fair now he doesn't even know what radiant mode is so i still don't know exactly what it does please don't tell me please don't tell me but that's where the conversation came in last night <laughs> people were like wait a minute AI slowly taking over. Why I feel worse some days. It's the battle between me and the AI. That's right. That's right. I can't let the AI win. Don't let the railroad win. John John Henry. See, there he goes again. He's just the AI is just pulling random quotes and articles and things from like Wikipedia and stuff. Doesn't even know what he's saying. Is ready to a wall? On a trip. On a trip. Well, be safe. Happy travels, safe travels, all that good stuff. Don't take the best stock. I'll drop it on the floor. Drop it on the floor. All right. mm -hmm. Here we go, stone bees here. Is this a radiant mode? Uh, I don't know. Reset chair. Adam suit is malfunctioning. I always think about um, Men in Black. His Edgar skin suit. He's out there on the town in his Edgar skin suit. Man, he did a really good job. He did a really good job acting like he was an alien in a human body. That's some of the best, uh, like, honestly, that's some of the, the best physical acting that uh, that I can I can think of. The Edgar skin suit. Good one. Good one. I think I remember seeing in the extras of the movie or something that they, some of the things to help. I remember right, like he was wearing some things that were too small for him as well, like the biotech videos. That's awesome. Yeah, they were watching Death. All welcome in. Your orbital trader name was Cranktown Industries. <laughs> I know Edgar. That's not Edgar, yeah. Good one. Classic. Classic. That ain't Edgar. That ain't Edgar. Yeah, he did a good job, that actor. Uh, physical comedy. Physical acting. All right. We are getting the uh, limestone pillars done out there. So need to go get another weapon for lock. Oh, and we got some... Um, whoops. We got the... There it is. We gotta hit that worshipable village. That's where we're actually gonna go when Cassandra's on cooldown. That was your wife. You and your wife's first date in theaters. First movie date in theaters. Mm 
Uh, the first movie my wife and I saw together was, oh my God, it was a hard hitter. Uh, what Dreams May Come. What Dreams May Come, great movie. Great movie, Robin Williams. So sad that Robin Williams was gone. But boy, that's a hard hitting movie for a first movie <laughs> to watch. That's a, that's a brutal movie. A sad movie. Your older sister was a chaperone. It's been so long ago. We, we didn't know anything about it. We literally just went into it completely blind. Completely, completely blind. We knew nothing. We're like, oh yeah, there's this new, uh, there's this new Rob Williams movie. Let's check it out. It's probably going to be hilarious. Rob Williams, he's a really funny guy. What dreams may come. Every so often, since it destroys you, that is a brutal, brutally sad movie. I think it would, I think it would be harder to watch now than it was then. Now that I've had even more like loss and stuff in my life, you know, and now I have my, I have a child of my own and stuff. If I watch that movie now, it'd be even, even more brutal, especially with Robin Williams being gone and in the manner of which he was gone in. Yeah. It's a very good movie. It's a very, it's a very, very very good movie but it's pretty pretty brutal one to watch yeah we watched that and i think the second movie we ever watched was the last samurai <laughs> look at the difference we I, I think we watched them one after the other like uh within the like that same evening what dreams may come and then the last samurai yeah <laughs> we were just watching whatever man we didn't care we didn't care the wall is out here. It's for raiders to hit so that they're distracted and hit walls and split up while we and we can we can conquer and devour. I mean divide and conquer. No, you said it. Conquer and devour. We are conquering and devouring, yeah. Literally. Steven. It's almost your lucky day, Steven. Almost your lucky day. Like five days from now, you will be a melee god. Unless we find a better melee god in the meantime, but it's going to be a tall order. Look at this guy. Nah, Steven. Pretty sure you're going to be one of us. One of us. Steven. Yeah, I remember when I did that. Man, that was a long time ago now. Steven with a PH. What? Steven? Steven? I don't know. You're putting the PH in the wrong place. Steven? Steven? No, I forget it. Forget it. Uh, Exclamation mods, but I basically don't use mods. I uh, Camera plus and no pause, pretty much. But Exclamation mods is the command that I'll show you, but pretty much done. Hey, we had a rat transform. Look, it's a waste rat. The Skaven do not exist. The rat men do not exist. Unvicious. There it is. There it is. All right. Generous bestowal. Alright. Alienetic. Is that supposed to be an A? I, I just started calling you that right off the bat without even asking. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Alright. Be comfortable here. Be comfortable here for the next melee hit. Missed the Warhammer 3 streams this week. How'd they go? It went really well. Uh, I've been playing Durthu in a very odd way, but it's been it's been pretty enjoyable. We're getting right at the end of it. We'll probably we'll probably finish the Durthu campaign within the first couple hours of next week's Total War. That is how you're supposed to pronounce it. Excellent. I got a name right. Doesn't always happen. Doesn't always happen. A mayor self tame. That's actually pretty decent. We could go for another horse. Go for another horse. Um. Okay. Grab that one and we'll grab a name from the queue. This is our our second real animal that we have. The first one is Kia. Kia. Alrighty, let's see what the animal naming queue has for us. Uh animals, 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 where are you? There it is. The next animal's name is uh, pet 404. Pet 404. Alright. Pet 404. 
by Arc Geo. Just ask Taco Macon and a few more ducks. Yeah, yeah. And Insatiable. Don't forget Insatiable. Do my pawns have jump packs? They do not have jump packs. Nope. They have shield belts. A rooster's illusion. Open wider. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to go hit that worshipful village. Uh, attack work. Uh, no. All right. Let's go hit the village. See what the village people are up to. Let's see. We'll take um, Christopher, Lumberjack, Shikon, Blade Spark. Okay, that should be enough, I think. Alright. Hopefully Xander doesn't hit us. Animal names put in last year are going to appear. I know, yeah. We haven't we haven't been doing a lot of runs with uh with pets or runs with a lot of pets lately, so there's a lot of animal names that have been used. We started building it, but what are those walls were there for raiders to hit to to just I need a lot of wall out in places for raiders to just take time on. So I can position and uh, just fight little little pieces of the raid at a time. Dwarf run. Sacrifamule, yeah. <laughs> that one had been in there a while too. Does the name key work? Is it just Twitch names or are there submissions? It's just your Twitch name, yeah. The animal one you submit, but the other ones are uh, just your Twitch name, yeah. <laughs> Most of it kind of not... Servants, uh, no, they're slaves, they're just straight up slaves. Yeah, actually, I should run will explain why there are slaves in the colony, but no, they're just straight up slaves. Straight up slaves, how's it going, Doug? Two Dugs here at one time, double the Doug, double the fun. That's just limestone. The map is limestone and marble. Uh, I wish we actually had a different material, but um, yeah, it's whatever. Limestone, it's just whatever. It's a dug rich environment. It's not like a target rich environment. What's a target rich? It's where like you have a target uh, retailer, like two or three of them within like a couple mile radius. That's a target rich environment. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why they keep talking about things like that in like those like Vietnam movies and stuff like that. You know, I have no idea. It's blows my mind. I didn't know they had target back then. Doug, Doug and Doug. <clears throat> Two dugs are a Dougie. They had like the French version of Target back then. Yeah, I think they called it Target or something, right? Peter Target, a Target rich environment. All right. Exactly. Yeah. See. See, it's corroborated, so it has to be true. Cooperation. Hey guys. Just coming to see. Just coming to see the uh the device, you know? Coming to see the device, that's all. Kill them! Slaughter the villagers! Oh, show bell's broken, get in. Wow, they're fighting to the last person. All right. The Tarje rich environment. Hack the terminal. All right. It has been hacked. Are you a tough donkey? What's up with your name? Why is it so long? Hey, donkey, why is it so long? Why the long face? Ah, that's what you say to horses. Alright. Ah, 
I don't need those guys. I don't need those. All right. You know what? Let's stop and do an Ancient Angel the way home. Why not? War crimes are your favorite. They are quite enjoyable. Any worthy survivors doesn't look like it. Can you plant your genes in enemies? I've never tried. I've never tried. Any stories so far on the level of Mortar Baby? Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. No, ch no child stories. But yeah, we did just show up at a village that was worshipping this thing. And we were like, hey, can we see that? We also worship the thing. But instead, we just slaughtered them all. And then wa walked in and stole the technology, so. But if you can, yeah, I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to because you can with the single phase stuff. So, I'm, yeah, I think so. I would say, I'm all right. I'll put me at about a 70%, you know, which is about as good as I get these days, so. Ever thought to hit more than one ancient danger? Oh, we've done dozens in this run, yeah. Space drone hack. Okay. So we will definitely do that one uh, when they get back. 70% solid. Yeah, it's like as good as I get these days. So. All right. Hit it. <laughs> Melee God Raiders. Then it's how we got um, our tech prints. All right. So let's see here. We got an ancient danger way up there. And it looks like just one. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, just one. Just one. Just one. All right. Hit this. We'll go home and we'll do the uh, the drone hack thing. Right, get on that flamer there. There we go. We're good. GG, G -G, little mechs. Hey, Joyce. How's it going? Butler, how you doing? Nope. What about you, Rika? No from me. Wow, Rika. Trying to hit something. The alert scared you. Thought it was in your game. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. Let's see what's in there. Hoping for a weapon. Hoping for a weapon. What do we got? We got a tornado generator, which we can't use because turns out tornado is not a melee weapon. I know it was uh, it was shocking for me as well to find this out. But uh, yeah, tornadoes not melee weapons. Who knew? Who knew? All right, ancient danger done. We'll head on home. Uh, let's see components, advanced components, our drugs, glass steel, gold, pulser. And as much of the steel as we can haul, I guess. Which turns out to be all of it. We got two horses now. All right. But tornado sling melee weapons. Is a log a melee weapon? A log is a melee weapon if it remains in someone's hand when it hits something. But as soon as that log leaves your hands or your wind cyclone, it becomes a projectile. That's, that's just science. Adam, no witnesses everything. 
Hands of the wind. Hands of the wind. And chill. Hold on to tornado. Then it it isn't really tornadoing. Uh, earlier we had John Henry, and now we're talking about old Pecos Bill. You know, Pecos Bill, he, uh, he actually lassoed a tornado. True story. Welcome back. Dogs only like projectile sticks. Melee weapon sticks are not allowed. Exactly. There's the, there's the distinguishability of, the distinguishability of wood. What? <laughs> ah, yes. The distinguished wood. On Smurf. Uh, basis near the five months as a tornado wall. Uh, that voice gets like more and more extreme every time I do it. This is a tornado wall. That's not what we sound like. All right, we'll get back into the space hack. That's like, that's that voice is like if Shaggy got hit in the face with a log. So why are you always breaking down when we're out on the road, huh? Can't help it, boss. Can't help it. I'm just uncomfortable. Christopher, maybe we won't send you on the next excursion. How about that? Mm -hmm. Is it a melee log or a projectile log? Sunblocker wall. Top five things to take on a caravan. A really good pawn. A really good animal. Food, a bed roll, and some drugs. There we go. Easy peasy. There's my top five things. Good combat pawn, I should say. You're going to be out on the road. You got to have drugs, you know? That's just how it is. That's how it is. I have that. You guys remember that old song? There's this old country song. Uh, it's that cowboy hat song. And now I have it in my head because of the stupid rope in a tornado thing. You guys remember that? God. I, I'm not like a fan of country music. I don't care if people like it or not. It's whatever. Or like whatever you like. Especially when it comes to art, music, and whatnot. But I ended up having to listen to a lot of country stuff that I did not like when I was a when I was a kid. And some of it still comes to my mind sometimes. I haven't thought about that in a long time. But now we're talking about rope in a tornado. Is that his name? Is this, maybe the song just literally like cowboy hat or something? Sounds weirdly familiar. I think he talks about rope in a tornado. Some Pecos Bill action. I think it is just called cowboy hat. I can hear the tune in my head. I can't hear all the words though. Crack is confused again. Come on, Crack. There's a random select few country songs that you like yeah that's the same way with me i think i like a few songs out of uh, almost every genre you know but it's not really like it's not really the genre i listen to before you touch this cowboy's hat that's the new of it you played pecos bill in elementary school way back in the day this cowboy's hat okay Hear the tune though. Hear that tune. <laughs> All right, how we doing on this work there, uh, Blade Spark? What? You're just eat you're like chilling at a table? Cut that out. Cut that out. Most of country music is nails on a chalkboard. Like, I really don't care what people, as, as long as it's not hurting like someone else, I really don't care. I've never understood those people that are like, make fun of someone for listening to a genre of music that they like. It's like, whatever. I just won't listen to it if I don't like it. Around a campfire and once went to a country bar with a lady friend who wanted to go dancing. There was a live band. What ending are we going for? Probably ship launch. Pandering by Bo Burnham. I don't know if I know that one or not. You feel comfortable here saying that you love Taylor Swift? See, I don't like any of the Taylor Swift stuff, but if people do, I really don't care. It's fine. No. It's reference, but. The new metal isn't metal crowd. I know. There's all that stuff too. 
I remember like <laughs> I remember like when Linkin Park first came out and they were getting like tons of crap and whatnot. Why are you doing? But now they're like looked fine by a lot of people's like, oh yeah, Linkin Park was one of the greats, one of the greats. Hybrid Theory, one of the one of the best. Boy named Sue, that's in my everything playlist. Yeah. I have an everything playlist where I just have like songs that I that I don't mind hearing, you know, like a big variety of songs, especially when we're doing like road trips and stuff. And that one's on there, yeah. Quite a few Johnny Cash songs on there, actually. Gone Robert. Oh, welcome in. Is there a radio mod like listening news and written world? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's a mod that makes the TVs play other things. I don't know about like a radio mod. I'm guessing there probably is. Imperious is stupid. Yeah. And there's a there's a lot of genres that I don't really like, but even with those genres, you, I can probably find a few songs that I'm good at listening to. You know? Yeah. I always thought it was odd. People were like really vehemently against it's I don't know, man. We talked about it before on the stream, and there's just some things that are so bizarre. Like people as a as a species, humans in general want to be, are very tribal, just it's very tribal, right? Tribalism in everything. And I even remember like how um, insane it was when I was a kid. And I know there are people still like this. But I remember like the whole like Ford versus Chevy thing, and it might still be a thing. But when I was a kid, that was like a big thing for whatever reason. It was like Ford versus and, and people would like literally you not be friends die. with people. Master. Hate on people and stuff. We're just gonna fight this straight up. See what it's like. Like really, really. I would be friends with you, but you drive one of them Chevys. Well, that's all right. I wouldn't be friends. Well, he drives Ford anyway. It's like, oh my god, come on, get out of here. Ah, uh, not thing for the gift sub to Ben. Bending unit, bending unit three thousand. I know him. Almost. Almost got that name butchered, but I didn't. Horde? <laughs> no. Horde versus Chevy? I don't remember the Chevy race. Yeah, there's always there's gonna be stuff like that with everything, but it's just it's just funny. Sorry, versus the biggest rage in your household. Some people really dislike you for driving an EV. Yeah, it's like what the crap? <laughs> that's all. It's all crazy stuff. I do no crack with you no more. You drive a Chevy. You driving a Chevy? Well, I guess I gotta find somewhere else to buy my meth. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The point of this is I really don't care. You're not hurting anyone else or yourself or whatever. Do whatever. Like what you like. I don't care. All right, let's start this quest. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Sports fans. <laughs> and then you, you back it up. Right, where'd this drop? Just kidding. I'll still buy my meth from you. Nickel walls outside the main wall. Ah, uh, they're like 23-ish or so. No specific length. I just wanted to make them relatively close to the base. And uh, so we can go out and repair and rebuild. And maybe like... Long enough to have the raiders have time going around it. But also... You know, if they come around the edge, they're not able to shoot like chain shotguns or SMGs right away or something like that. But honestly, I should probably make it as long as an assault rifle shot. And I might do that eventually. Yourself, <laughs> Cook. Don't even bother talking to me. <laughs> go, Lumberjack, go. I have no idea how these raids scale. Do the ship hack raids scale? I guess we're about to find out. I don't think I've ever done one this late in the game. All right, let's see what they are. Let's get all hyped up on that toxic waste.
Oh god, they scale. Uh yeah, they scale. <laughs> no flames to beads, okay. Hold those in place. Kill those. Oh, you have a stun. Get on that one. You get that one. Okay, that one's stunned. We got we got a stun on all of them. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> it's so silly how good these are at melee. <laughs> we just killed that out in the open. Oh, Jesus. That's so crazy. It's so crazy. Oh no, that's not 10k points at all. That's that's nowhere near 10k points, but they do get bigger than they did at the beginning of the game. Oh yeah, I didn't even need go juice for that. I knew when there was an we had enough people to melee lock all the centipedes. As long as I killed the other stuff before the melee, before the centipedes got there and started shooting, we'd be fine. Shield belts actually held through the first volley, which is all we needed. We have um we have four Zeus hammers, so we could we could stunlock all four. It's it's still nuts seeing that happen though. It's really insane. No, we don't even have bionics yet, no. Nope. A couple people have like a part or two. One person has like architect legs or something. Or architect arms, but yeah, in general, no. Wreck those centipedes like it's nothing. Yeah, it's actually nuts. Oh, it's nuts. Yes, we almost lost yesterday to Diabolus. Yeah, we had a scary moment. I actually thought we had lost the rate or the run yesterday. If you want to check it out, go into the VOD about an hour and 20 minutes into yesterday's VOD. We had three Diabolus at once attacking from one side, more mechs from the other side, and bugs got into the base at the same time. It was... I thought we were going to lose. I 100%... I was already thinking in my head, where else would you think? I was already thinking like, oh my God, am I going to redo this run? Cause this is, this is probably over. It was, uh, it was nuts. Yeah, it was scary. It was a scary one. But yeah, about an hour and 20 minutes into yesterday's uh, VOD, if you want to check it out. Yeah, Zeus Hammer, yeah, yeah. It doesn't stun as long as, like, um, like the EMP grenade, and they adapt, so it's not like you can stun lock it forever. But we only need it stun locked long enough to deal enough damage to kill it, or um, even, even not counting the stun from the hammer, just having them melee locked, you know? That was a big thing. Like, those... Um, what's crazy is the is the centipedes blast like that. Each of those shots is actually a pretty, pretty decent amount of damage. So one of those shots can one-shot in a normal run, they cannot one shot in this run though. So as long as we get into melee range where they get more than like a blast off, we're good. Do I have any favorite endings to my colony? Welcome back. Ah, uh, yes. Loyalty is greatly appreciated. Yes, the absolute, my favorite ending of all time, not even close, nothing even compares is the first melee run. The first melee run is up on YouTube. The last episode of the first melee run I did is by far the absolute craziest crap I've ever done in RimWorld. Yeah, that's my favorite. Not even close. Uh, we are not allowed to use Psycast, no. Psycasts aren't very melee. Mayho, thank you for the 16 months. Thank you, Mayho. No, we're not allowed to use Psycast. Uh, Exclamation Run should tell you more, I think. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is... We hit by a Doomsday's favorite ending. <laughs> that, is, that is an ending, all right. Alrighty, we're gonna see if we get a um, a new melee god here, and if not, then Steven will be our next one. 
Is that the run that I put the fire with the mortar shot? No, because that was melee only. We couldn't use mortars in that run. The putting the fire out with the mortar. I don't remember which run that was. That was a really old one. Zeus, thank you for the three months. Armor because of the slowdown, Jerusalem deterioration. Most pros just leave them on usually. Play on blood and dust. It takes so long to put armor on and off. So what are you going to do, Zeus, if you're not wearing your armor and you have a drop pod raid land on top of them? You know? So it takes so long to put good armor on and off. And with no pause, I'm definitely not going to be doing that either way. So no, it's just safer to leave it on. I can always make more armor, you know? Uh, but Zeus, thing for the three months. Alrighty, let's see what we get. Small map challenge, yeah. Ooh, we got a wonder on the first one. Tread lightly. This is Boo's domain. Yoshi. I'm facing the bugs I did. Yeah, that was rough, yeah. <laughs> the Charlie Brown dance again. Because I flow. save them for rep participating in the stone festival i can't save this person's lives i'm i'm dancing iron willed body pierced <laughs> sail Uh, sail me, please. All right, get down here. I'll sail you. In max, though, you know it's probably better just leave it on. Yeah, I don't know if it, I don't know which one's considered min maxing, right? Because you are maximizing your set, your maximizing your uh, survival rate against drop pod raids and things like that. You know, by minimizing how often you put on and off armor. So it just depends on on which side of the min max coin you you consider that, I suppose. All right. Arrest, arrest. Is slavery slavery actually worth it versus having pawns? No, not really. Not really. Alright, slave. Do it again. Do you implant genes or use gene extractor for vampire genes? You implant for vampire genes. We're not doing that in this, but if you're doing a single page run, yeah, you, you're not gonna, you're not really gonna extract all those. You're not gonna extract the archaic genes, no. Boring. Perhaps you need to do it two more times. Are dance parties better than social festivals? Yes, they are. Dance parties have a higher mood benefit and dance parties increase work speed if they go well. Social ones do not. You rarely go through a full high quality helmet or armor to play through. Yeah, we will go through a bit in this because of the nature of being in melee combat so much, but in general, yeah. Get up, it's time to party. Christopher immediately starts dancing in his bed. Look at them hopping on their beds. We're up. We're doing it. <laughs> uh, 
Frank is still on his bed. He has dementia. He he's having the time of his life. He won't remember this, but he's having the time of his life. Uh, but yes, drum festivals and dance festivals have a higher top end mood increase and they have a chance to increase work speed afterwards. Um, independent from from the other rewards. So those two are very good. Wimp, delicate. It's a genie. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Hmm. Very neurotic crafter. Very neurotic crafter genie. We doing social festivals all this time before? I don't always do social festivals. It, so there's a, it depends on, on what you have going on. Like at this stage, we can have all the stuff to get 100% on dance festivals. So there's no reason not to use them. But in most runs where I'm min-maxing, you'll see me using drum festivals because that's the tribal version of this and does the same thing. Uh, Lady Superior, welcome in. Go. Dance party's better. Yeah, I mean, you can just go look. Like, look at the dance party. Mood top in, plus 16. Mood bottom in, minus three. Uh, if it's unforgettable, participants may gain increased work speed for a while. And then you get your other reward as well. So, very good one. Very good one. Uh, and the tribal version of the dance party is the drum party, which you'll see me using a lot as well. Okay. Use force in a party when they want to go to sleep. I uh, it is considered abuse. Yes. Lady Superior, thank you for the resub. By the way, thank you, Superior. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely abuse. How come you don't seem to care about the abuse? That's a mystery. It's a mystery. Mystery, all right. All right, we got a new slave here. Okay. I wonder, I actually have not checked this before. Now, we can't make them into a crafting specialist, unfortunately, but... Uh, let's move this over. Put those down. Can move debuff for enslaving your festival joins? No. Each slave in the colony plus one. Sold slave plus four. Slave prisoner plus four. Someone sold a slave plus two. Someone enslaved a prisoner plus two. Yeah, it's all good stuff. People like these sort of things. All right. Masterwork. I'm bleezing. Um, why is so many doors in the hospital? Uh, just extra pass out. I can forget a game and play it for the first time. Which would you pick? RimWorld or StarCraft? Out of only those two, uh, StarCraft, yeah. Does the Slaves and Colony buff have a limit? I don't know. I've never, I've never tried to see how high we can push it. Not sure. You as well. Sacrificing doesn't really uh, do much at this stage because we already at raid cap, so it's not going to do a whole lot. Unlike early game. All right. Uh, let's see. Have any of these reset? 15 days. That must mean this one is... That one's four. 3.3 days. All right, Christopher. Let's head down here. Actually, let's, uh, let's trade with these people first, and then we'll take the rest. 
We're gonna have nostalgia for you. Buster Chibnuts, welcome in. Welcome in. Hey, Tex. Oh my god. Let's bring that song back in my head again. Hey, Tex, where'd you park your horse? Always learn something new when you watch. Well, thank you for watching. Glad you are enjoying it. <laughs> we'll get all your Nutramine, all your components. Uh, let's sell these extra beds we picked up. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep four of them. Keep four of those. Uh, let's see. Ah, we can remake some of this script. Lizard skin slave collar. Sounds very, very comfortable. That doesn't sound comfortable at all. Seems like it'd be very comfortable. <laughs> uh, let's see. You guys want some bird skin? Some random assortment of leathers how about some drugs you guys want drugs oh yeah we want drugs everyone's just so open about dr buying drugs in this game what happens there's no law you're saying that's a bad thing i'm not saying anything i'm just saying that drugs are easy to come by <laughs> got a choice which game would you forget like forget it and then i also never have to play it again hang on i have a, i have an answer for this immediately and it's not what most people would think like forget a game exists and i will never know that game exists ever again no matter what i have a, i have an answer it's not greedfall that's what most people would say nope it's not greedfall very well on your current run selling copious amounts of beer so if that's your if that's your question the answer is remothered remothered Dream Daddy was a good game. Why would I want to forget Dream Daddy? Remothered. You might be saying to yourself, Adam, remothered? Surely it's pronounced remothered. It's not. It's it's the only game I have ever. No, no, that's why my, my question was so that I and I would never know of it, its existence and never play it again. Remothered. It's the only game on stream that I have ever stopped playing and not finished because it was so bad. So terrible. What happens if you cover the entire map with the concrete and cut down the ammo tree? It just doesn't grow back. Remothered. Why are you saying remothered? Play the game. But also, I don't recommend playing it. It's all about moths. It's all about moths. So that's how I, I pronounce it. Remothered. <laughs> remothered. Uh, yeah, terrible game. The only game that I ever just stopped playing on the stream because it was so bad. Usually even bad games that I'm not enjoying too much, I'll, I'll like, all right, I'll just finish it. Horror game? Yeah, if you want to call it a horror game. Why I make the base like that? What part are you talking about? All right, Christopher, let's get you on the road again. On the road again. Christopher can't wait to get on the road again. Um, sell me please. Christopher, did you get the plague? No, okay then. You're our best doctor though, Christ. And our other doctor got it. So, all right. Never mind. Never mind, Christopher. Never mind. All right. All right, go 
get in bed. get like one no I hit the wrong button why have I done this to myself all right more bow get back what else was it again mind freeze Get in there. I know they'll go on their own over time, but... Just, uh... Are you dealing with them? Okay. Alright. Mind freeze. That's ah, fine. You're probably fine. In fact, let's go ahead and hit him with Preach Health. him on self tinned uh take him off bed rest there you go enjoy enjoy your plague surely you won't die right he has major cell instability but we're just gonna we're gonna pretend he doesn't have that and that'll be fine all right uh let's see take 350 drugs with us on the road because you just never know when you need to party uh, let's see here. 6,000 silver. Boy, if your caravan gets hit, you're going to have a real tough time. But Cassandra's on cooldown right now, so... Cassandra is on cooldown. So, Chris, I need you to get there real fast, all right? I'm on it, boss. Two allied factions who are enemies with each other can never be on the map at the same time. Um, you can't call them in. You can't call them in, yeah. So, like, if you if you have, like, with these traders here, if I try to call in someone that's their enemy, the it'll say they won't come because there's you know, hostiles on the map or whatever. Yeah, that's still true. You made it as a slave, Morbo. Oh, wait, did I not? Sell me, please. Add to the caravan. There you go. So, Blade Spark, what are you up to these days, huh? Oh, you're up to the plague. That's what you're up to. No, you just have sensory mechanites. Get out of here. Sensory mechanites. Should be happy. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Going ARAM delayed because streams on TV. Melee, hardest challenge. My initial melee challenge was the hardest challenge. Yeah, this one is not. We're back, Bond. It's been a while. Yeah, if you if you try to call them in, it'll just tell you you can't, yeah. Boost upon's art score high enough so when Dissimulate them. They are still useful for you. Um, I mean, we have a negative eight for art, right? So they have to have a really high art score to begin with. And then something like Fast Learner or uh, Great Memory would be nice to get that even further. Like Christopher here has Great Memory. So if if we got like art trainers and pumped his art up, he would he'd basically stay at that art level and he would be able to make decent art. So it might be something to keep an eye on. Uh, if we ended up finding something like that, we might change Christopher into a production specialist and then have someone else be the moral guide. But I missed much this morning. Uh, you missed a, a centipede fight that was pretty fun, but it wasn't it wasn't like scary or anything. Right, we're going to turn these off as gathering spots. Christopher on the road again. You couldn't wait to get on the road again. 
seeing places that he's never been on the road again. Still is it in there, yeah. Okay. Circle of filth looking alright. Sounds like one of those like uh screamy metal bands, Circle of Filth. Oh, they get so sued by Cradle of Filth. Circles and cradles are the same thing, so you're probably right. So hurry up, man. It looks... <laughs> uh, it looks like a face that's like, yeah, drooling or something. There's a circle of wall. This a sad face. Yeah. Octagon of Filth is your favorite. That sounds like some kind of, like, underground MMA or something. Hey man, don't tell anyone. Octagon of Filth this weekend. Where? Can't tell you. I saw Circle of Filth in 2005 before they sold out. Oh, so, so like before... Before like the arena was full. I mean, obviously, how else would you have gotten tickets, V-Day? If they were already sold out, you wouldn't be able to see them because you couldn't have gotten tickets. What a strange thing to say. <laughs> I mean, it kind of goes without saying. If you see any band, you've seen them before they sold out. How do I unsubscribe? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Playing at the circle of death. Wearing some Van 501s and a dope Beastie T. Got nipple rings out. Sipping on some Coke. That was called Cradle Filth. Yeah, that was the joke. Run DMC shirt. Excuse me, that's not part of the lyrics. Come on. Go on, Hypernova. Welcome in. And sorry, Aram. We got new slaves? We do, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now I'm gonna have that song in my head, which is good because Tool's my favorite band, so. It's all right. It's better than the cowboy hat in my head. All right, let's see here. They do not have any R kite stuff. We couldn't, uh, they don't have any bionics either. Fantastic. All right, well. Buy more Luciferium. Uh, you got any trainers? They have social trainers. We might buy those just to bump up the social on uh, on Christopher here. So we can get even better deals on his trading. It's always out trading. So. Not a bad idea. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So we'll grab the social trainers. Uh, we got the Luciferium. We'll either go juice while we're here. That'll be good. Let's bring the rest home. Get ready for the next raid. You can't use the word master anymore. What? <laughs> so silly with things like i'm not gonna get into that but some words like it depends entirely on the context you can't just you can but 
just get rid of a wording completely because a different context of it or a different definition of it is used for something else. Went to a Metallica concert. I saw Metallica at BlizzCon. Pretty good. I have to listen to Tool all day now. Context is very important. Yeah, and when different words have different definitions. Yeah. Can't use whitelist or blacklist anymore. Ah, uh, the villagers databank. Yes, again, we'll be there soon to um, worship along with you. No one else did because it was muted on Twitch, was it really? Ever get into building computers? I've always built my own computers in my family, so that's it. What does master mean? That's bad. I'm guessing because of slavery, but I, I, don't, I don't know. They DMC aid themselves. It's fun to be at the DMCA. I tell you not to use that word in 2012. Wait, which one? Master or whitelist? You've seen house listings where they won't call them at the master bedroom or the master suite. I don't call them master bedrooms there anymore. What is all that around your base? The white dots, those are abandoned settlements. Those are places that we went and we settled and we looted the ancient dangers and we left. Can't use those words either. All right, well. Here we are at the biggest bedroom. That's the despoiled world that I leave in my wake. Yeah, unlike our home, which is not despoiled at all. This actually looks like some kind of Dark Souls or Hollow Knight boss. Like you got this blob of, of filth, some weird neck and a big head and some weird oozy open void mouth. Adam, you've been playing too many of those games lately. I have, I have. The CPU base layout. It is a little bit, yeah. All right, all right. Adam has stolen the food in your area. You still have options. Check out our sponsor, Factor. Exclamation Factor. Uh, Factor was extended until February 5th. We actually ordered a new box for next week. Or we have a new box coming for next week. Factor has been really good, honestly. I've been uh, I've been really happy with it. It is by far the best pre-made meal service that we've we've had so far, and it only takes seven minutes to make. It's really insane. I was like seven minutes, but seriously, it's uh, I've definitely told you guys some of the sponsored things I've gotten before is like, eh, can't really recommend this. But uh, the factor stuff has been really really good. Really really good. Exclamation factor. Deal's only good in the United States. It is actually a steal for 60% off. It's crazy. If it was always 60% off, I would literally have that every meal. Like, no joke. Every single meal. Not just dinners. Every meal. Exclamation factor. Sponsor until February 5th. Thanks, Murph. The factor meals are so good. The deal's phenomenal, phenomenal for 16 off. Yeah, it's, it's actually crazy. Like, man, if it was always that four to five dollars, we, the family and I would just eat it every meal. <laughs> like, screw it. It saves so much time and they're so good. Pre cut meals, the size too small for you. I need two for one dinner. Uh, I eat two of them for a dinner. Yeah, one of them for lunch, two for dinner. My family has one for dinner. What's the deal behind the wall configuration? Uh, hopefully you'll get to see with the next raid. It's basically for raiders to attack. Yeah, it depends on which one you get, yeah. But even just getting uh, a set of them for your lunches. Pretty good. 
Are there any arbitrary goals in mind aside from the obvious melee only stipulation? Mm, see the credits. See how much, how far we can push melee xenotype. Let you know, any recommendations? Um, I haven't seen what the new menu has on it. So I'd have to look, Soul Sapper. If you want to remind me at the end of the stream, I can actually bring it up on stream. I can show you the ones that are coming that we've tried and let you know which ones we've liked best if you want. Yeah, it's been really good so far. And uh, with Factor, every single order. So the thing with the Factor sponsorship right now is basically your first order, I basically get all the money from it. Like seriously. So you're basically donating that amount of money to the stream, which is going towards editing. It's going to the editors. You're basically donating that amount of money to the editors for content. And then you just get all the food. So if you don't want to do it after the after the, your first week, that's completely fine, of course. But uh, to be completely upfront with you, I'm, I'm not supposed to say how much money they give me. But for this sponsor, it's basically they just give me literally the amount of money that you spend on it, which is kind of crazy. I've never had that for the sponsor before either. Like not not like a 3% affiliate income. No, no, it's literally the entire thing for your first week. Wish they are in Canada. Yeah, unfortunate how many of the deals are US only, but... We're going to make a xenotype that focuses on shooting. Does anyone have any recommendations? Um, I highly suggest, um, obviously you want to get things like shooting, but if you can keep them on drugs, like, you know, psychic dependency or goju's dependency or whatever, those ones give you a lot of points to play with. And as long as you can keep the drugs, it's just pure positive. So I would... What I would do is probably go through and um, like I did with this and maybe go through and choose like all the positives that you want. And then you can go through and maybe do the negatives or the reverse. I did the reverse. I went through and went with all the negatives I could possibly stand and then to see how many points we had to play with. And then I use that to build, um, build my pawns. But unstoppable, unstoppable, you'll absolutely want for shooters. Unstoppable means that you don't get stunned when they're hit. So you can actually kite, and if they get hit or whatever, you can still run. So unstoppable is uh, is probably one of your number ones for um for like a combat shooting xenotype. The drug dependencies are almost like make your own loose fear. Yeah, so I would say drug dependencies. Look at maybe two of those, um, and then unstoppable. Obviously, um, another one is the. One of the best ones is super clotting. Super clotting and super fast wound healing is just stupid good. With these two, you basically don't have to tend people. Their their wounds literally just heal during combat. It's it's nuts. So I would strongly suggest these two for any combat focused custom xenotype. Super clotting, super fast healing, unstoppable, and then two drug dependencies, and then build from there. Uh, Quick Bin, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Quick Bin. And Fox, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Fox. Count the same as a tier one sub. You probably know this. Thank you. Unstoppable is just good for everyone, yeah. Unstoppable is just really good. Super healing and clotting are absolutely nuts. It's it's really crazy to see someone get like a like an 18 point damage Scyther bleed during combat, and it's just it's just patched immediately. Like 30% wound tinned. It's like, what? <laughs> it's really insane. That combo is probably one of the best combos in there. Where do factor meals rate on the RimWorld scale? Uh, somewhere between simple and fine, I would guess, yeah. We're in the middle there. Depends on the meal, you know? That's what you would say to you, though. All right. So we need Plasteel. Really need Plasteel. We got enough blocks now. Let's uh, let's get this Plasteel over here. Okay, how many miners do we have these days? We 
actually have quite a few people that can mine, so I think I'm going to make another another drill. Did I start with the hopes of the Sunlocker? Not really. It was kind of a... No, we didn't gamble for Sunlocker. That was just kind of a fortuitous thing. But I mean, with a long playthrough like this, we were bound to get one eventually. Take a peek for those, at those for sure. Being alone, you rarely actually cook for yourself. At the very least, grabbing them for lunch is, is pretty awesome. How much access to gold and silver do you have? If art isn't an option, can you gold, silver, floor, wall up? I was talking about that before with the gold. Um, and I'm thinking about getting a long range mineral scanner to do that. So, uh, we don't have a lot of nearby gold, although we did have, um, where was it? We had this one. So this one's a pretty easy one. It's 900 gold right there. But yeah, we don't have a lot. Oh, there's actually, you know, there's actually that like 1200 gold there. Both of those are relatively close. Oh, what the crap? There's another 1200. All right. We don't need the long range scanner yet, but we might do it. Silver we might do as well because we have infinite silver basically. Between simple and fine, yeah. Meals definitely not my mixing up. They're really good, man. They're good. Like seriously. You know, you've been here long enough. You've heard me talk about other sponsors before, and I'll I'll just be honest with you with them, right? This is a subscription thing though. You can skip weeks, but make sure that if you're only wanting the the week deal, like the first week deal, they hit suspend or um, on the on the subscription or on the account as a whole. Uh, and yeah, they're not frozen. You don't get them frozen, and I would suggest not freezing them. But we haven't we've not frozen any of ours, so put them in the fridge. What's the last meal that I've had that I would? Consider Rimworld lavish. Well, Rimworld lavish can be three helpings of rice. So actually thinking about it. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I've had a lavish meal in a long time. All right. Get that blast deal. Get that blast deal. How's your health situation? Uh, it's not great. Yeah. They finally worked out. No, no, I'll be going for more testing again soon. So Thanksgiving for you would consider. Yeah, I guess so. Three cups of rice. It's a uh, rice three ways for lavish meals in RimWorld. Rice three ways. Yeah, thank you, Val. Yeah, some days are worse than the other. I've had a couple of kind of crappy days uh, health-wise the last week or two. Maybe it's just three plates of rice cooked the same way. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a possibility. All right, it's time. Shikan is ready to spread their genes. Um... I need to get a smithing table down so we can have at least some kind of weapon for them um all right get that down steven sander can't go to sleep so no Sandra's not asleep Yeah, it's a typo, yeah. I copy and pasted another thing. The raid thing isn't even going on anymore. I'm supposed to delete that. I have a note to do it. Yeah, don't, ignore the ignore the raid thing. Infestation. Alright. Let's just take care of it. I just don't want to deal with it. Uh, 
Um. Yeah, we'll we'll take care of it. Crazy how much they've nerfed infestations. Really, really nuts. Ah, the old melee block. Visitors. Why do your pawns always hold a beer on them? Do you have that in their drug assignment? You can you can have them hold. I mean, as a weapon or in their inventory. Inventory, that's, uh, if you are using mods because it can change mods, but if you're not using mods, that's changed in their drug rules, so. Go to their drug assignment rule and edit it in there. I'll show you where to go in just a second. Steven. Steven. Yeah, but it could be a mod, yeah. If that doesn't work going into that assignment, then it's going to be a mod. You have simple side arms or something like that. Do Q claims persist through playthroughs? Yeah, it's a yeah, they do. run get better at melee i always end up having pawns going down it's been a lot of fun we do have like really good genes though hmm ah, you know what let's leave that one up for a little while i did miss it but let's leave it all right steven it's time all right steven we're doing it from behind uh in front of the loudspeakers a new melee god. All right, Shikan. I think it's your first implant, but... All right, just be gentle. It'll be all right. Here we go. Let the ceremony commence. One of us. One of us. One of us. All right, so now Steven gets a real name because Steven's not a real name. All these Stevens in chat are like, hey, wait a, wait a second. Wait a minute. Newton. Congrats, Newton, you're a melee god. Way to go. Way to go, Newton.
All right, Blaze Fire, just go ahead and make this because they're going to want to destroy it right after, but we got to stop them. Feven. So trying to get melee with the buildings takes years. It would it would take years. We're already six years in, but the main thing is the footprint. We would need like we need an area like this for all the connected buildings to work. So yeah, it, ours is very a very complex xenotype. <laughs> um, we could do well. How much uranium do we have? We could do a uranium mace. That'd be better than the steel. Yeah, we only have 55 of that, too. Uh, this is just a temporary thing, so he has something for the next raid. And then we'll get him... Um, we need to get go out and get two more weapons. It'd be a pretty big hassle to do that. Yeah, so we'll just wait on the cooldown, which also takes years, but, you know. You know. Steven, uh, I mean, Newton... Wait, where'd you take that? Okay. All right. Uh, Newton, do you have any body parts missing or anything? Nah, you're fine. Look at you. Look at you. What's the most dangerous thing right now for the colony? Um, explosive pirates. Yeah, explosive pirates. Explosive pirates and a mech cluster with, uh, with Diabolus at the mech cluster. Those are our two probably scariest things. Met cluster that has something I have to deal with, like an EMI device or a drone. Well, a drone wouldn't matter. EMI device or auto mortar one. Yeah, th those would both suck. Someone redeemed the devil. Uh, where, where, where? It's not showing. Who did it? Yeah, I don't have enough plasteel, yeah, or uranium at the moment, so we're just uh, going with what we got. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, Zamana, summon the devil. It's not my dear old devil, you say. He was always saying this. A sacrifice, if you will. Suppose we're going to eat them. That sound pretty demonic. Mm -hmm. okay. Newton, I was hoping you'd be up the next raid, but you probably won't be. Probably won't be. Maybe Cassandra will only hit us once this time. She hit us with the infestation. Yep, I've done that time. It's on one of them's on YouTube. I've done it multiple times. The one on YouTube is called the Good Guy Run. At some point, are they going to be full of walls or jut out? No, not full. Yeah, they're going to jut out probably forever. Right, a ram. Oh, Blade Spark has inspiration. Oh my god. We're about to get a legendary cataphract. I'm feeling it. Come on, Blade Spark. You can do this. Masterwork minimum. Come on. Oh, 
like surgery if you zoom in on it it's higher chance i'd like to wager 50k on this so. here we go legendary oh my lord 200 percent sharp resist oh boy uh legendary hide and welcome make him her a shooting specialist uh no because we can't shoot anything we don't have a shooting specialist and it would also depend on what the pawn is not everyone can become a shooting specialist so yeah it just depends wider spins how does anything over 100 percent work so the best place to look at this is it actually explains it in here so if you hover over this and you look there's this long explanation of how armor percentages work and how it rolls and, and the layers and and how it decides to over roll into the next layer or into blunt defense versus sharp defense all that's in here so just literally go into an armor click on sharp or blunt and then read this part i'm not going to read through it all but it, it explains it in the game um very well so yep so that one's in the game it's got nowhere to find it which now you do now you do all right um yeah we're still getting a lot of pollution fire recruitment yeah. All right, um, we're gonna try this. Master working legendary armor, but normal clothes underneath, yeah. <laughs> Effective. Thunder die. That's right. That's right. It's critical that we get that die there. Excuse me, ascetic. Did you just go put on that recon? You know what? It's fine. Whatever. It's just recon. Oh, we stripped him anyway. He's not a good ship. Okay. Uh, hang on. Where are those social trainers? There's one. What's your social at now? 16, nice. I use, yeah, yeah, that's what I, I just remembered when I saw the trade ship. Just remembered. The terrible structure. Architect arm. Architect arm will be taking that. All right, thank you, thank you. Architect arm. Uh, let's see. We already got arms on Blade Spark. Um, maybe Newton.
Crack, we can turn you into a production specialist as well, so you're only doing construction, really. Perhaps, perhaps. Um, probably best to put it on Christopher, actually. I'm scared to do the surgery on him. Probably best to go there. Oh, yeah, no worries, no worries. The Mega TV. What do I have money for a Mega TV? Tricks, Eslons, welcome in. Gek, welcome in. Uh, let's wait and see if Cassandra hits again. And we'll go from there. How long until you're up, Newton? 16 hours. Sixteen hours. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. How are you on rep here? Uh, those ones are almost allied. We might send them some stuff here pretty soon. Otherwise, though, we're just kind of chilling, waiting for Cassandra. Let's see here. When was that hit? Uh, it was on the 6th. Well, it's been two days, so she could definitely still hit again. Christopher, can you get those horses out of there? Oh, it's because this is open. There we go. There we go. Alright, so we need one, two, three, four. Four more cataphract armors. Okay. Working on those. Blade spark. Good to go. Ah, uh, we can turn this off. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter right now. We're not we're not really hurting on. Ten thousand raid point psychic ship. Oh. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Slaves are going to be uh, a little unhappy, but... Oops, all centipedes. Not even all centipedes. There's even um, two centurions there. Some scythers. There's an apocryton. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. It's the next raid. You can't wake them up remotely anymore. I can't use mortars to wake them up. So maybe I wake them up with like a slave during the next big raid. Maybe we'll get like a um, a meat shield sort of slave. So the high psychic drone is doing nothing for. Oh, I sold one of your loved ones into slavery. My bad. I didn't know. I didn't know. So our slaves are actually gonna get really unhappy with this being here. Psychic drone is gonna get up pretty high. Walker on hatred. We have a minus four for that. Hmm. Uh, send a puppy there. Yeah, you know, that won't work. That won't work. Yeah, there's also a war queen there, yeah. Ugh. Cut their ears off? No, they're not. They're not hearing it. It's, it's psychically. Sold one of your loved ones? Oops. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to. Just get over it. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look. Ah, it shouldn't be a problem, right? He's going to need it within five days. Yeah, it, it's fine. We could give him that, um... You know. Just to, like, get him started. Maybe, maybe we just will, but... I don't think he's going to, like, die or anything. So let's see. Operation. Administer the psych IT.
There you go. Enjoy. Or don't. All right. When's our next? 28 days. 11 days. We got to find another tough pawn within 11 days. So that's the second Cassandra hit. Uh, we can get out and go looking for more pawns. What do we have nearby? We have another worshipful village. So that's an option. We also have this logging place with 26 people. 3,200 tox potatoes. All right, let's hit up the village. So two pets. Of course, I'm not even sending you anymore. Send Lumberjack, Shikon, Blade Spark, and uh, and Bimo. That's fine. Okay. Get on out. Bring Psychite T is a medical operation. Yeah. So I have a story kind of about that a long time ago when I was newer to the game. Uh, I had someone that had a smoke leaf addiction and they were unhappy about it and they were in their hospital bed unconscious or whatever. And um, I have I had the thing where that like they were I didn't know they couldn't break down or whatever. But the point is they needed smoke leaf, right? And it wasn't like they were going to die. They just they just needed it for their addiction. We had some. I was like, oh, can we give it to them while they're in the hospital bed? I was looking fooling around and whatnot and I saw that we could and I was like, oh, okay. And I set it up and they came and gave them smoke leaf and it killed them. <laughs> it killed them because uh, smoke leaf drops consciousness by like 10% and they were at like 10% consciousness. So just imagine this person like in a hospital bed laying there and, and the nurse comes in and is like, here, buddy, here, Welcome. take a deep breath. They're like, no, no, it'll Your kill me. No, 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 it's good. It's good for you. Appreciated. It takes a big deep breath. Can't, you can't help it. They force it in there and he just dies. Yeah, that was, uh, that was the first time I ever used a medical procedure to apply drugs. Ah, uh, Jaylee. Thank you for the 15 months. Expands. God save Praise the spleen. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. I think you guys, they were using the uh, Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Jaylee. Yeah, the same thing happened. You wanted the patient to feel better. <laughs> and you killed him. Oh. Hey, Spleen, they were watching on YouTube. Force of blunt trauma. My goodness. The cojones on those guys. Don't make a noise. Someone steps on a twig. Ah, oh, twigs have been extinct. Back. Your there hasn't been a twig on our map. Don't look at these. There hasn't been a natural twig on the map in years. They're like ninjas. A honus, you say. Hey, Mac. Welcome back. 13 months you missed RimWorld. Well, it's here. Right here, right now. Uh, thank you, J Mac. A new subscriber. Hi there. Come mm. steal yourself. We are building an army. All right, many people, as there usually is. Exclamation run. Exclamation run. Flapjack will explain it to you. Ah, uh, friendly shambler. Thank you for the 17 gift subs. Thank you, friendly shambler. The very friendly shambler. Friendly shambler I've ever met, actually. I uh, thank you, shambler. I had a pollock tree sprout. Uh, nothing I've noticed. No. A hype train? Your mom said to say that I could have just one peanut butter square, but not till after they cool down. I hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button. A gleaming and J Mac, they were the thousand bits as well. Thank you, J Mac. All aboard the hype train. Uh, let's say hi. The honor of the fam is good. Thank you, Chamber. It helps out as always, as you know. Uh. Wait, it divided them up. It was 17, and then how many else did it show? Oh, it was 50 total. Why did it do that on my end? A generous bestowal. It's so weird. Uh, Chandler, they were the 50 gift subs. My Twitch shows it in two chunks for some reason. I only read the first one. Thank you, Chandler. Like, thank you three times as much as I norm uh, initially thanked you. 
Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hidden commands. But mom. Only news day rockets. It's mod wife. Now I have carbon. Duo Acmedi, welcome in. You feel 3x more love now? <laughs> uh, Nime, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, Nime. Thank you guys again. All right, guys, we're here to worship the uh, the artifact. We're here to worship the artifact, and that's the only reason we're here. Subscriber, come Oof. steal yourself. Oh, thank you for the five yourselves. Thank you, Oof. Also very much appreciated. Much love to the Oof. Here we are. Hey guys, how's it going? Ah, how's it going? A generous bestowal. They've locked themselves in the bedroom. What are they doing in there? They're they're doing murder in there. A gleaming endowment. They're doing murder. Iowa, thank you for the thousand bits as well. Thank you, Iowa. And J Mac, thank you for the hundred bits. Left over some in the pack last night. Uh, thank you, J Mac. Thank you, Iowa. Timo, there's a guy behind the rocks. Get him. Jacon, this guy. Timo, back. Play Spark down south. All right, are you tough? You're a psychopath, but you're not tough. What about you? What about you? Jerks. These jerks. All right, well, let's get out of here. Finished it, right? Okay. Um, an ancient danger. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Oh, is that a raid on that tile? I think it might be. A magnanimous dispensation. As it always up. out. I should have checked that raid first. What? Uh, Jwax, they were the 10,000 bits. Can't let Iowa beat California. <laughs> Jwax, that is very generous. Thank you for the 10,000 bits. Llama Eater, 20 months. Thank you, Llama Eater. Uh, much love, Jmac again. Look at those red bit numbers. You don't see that every day. Thank you, Jmac. Very generous. Five dollars, Buster. Uh, Iowa, they were the 500 bits. It's not a competition, J Mac. Maybe it is, die, but you win. <laughs> uh, thank you, Iowa and V Day. They were the gift sub to PP Poo Poo. <laughs> thank you, V Day. I was trying to find the unsubscribe button from earlier and I ended up gift subbing. No refunds. Uh, thank you. Oh, uh, man. All right. Ancient danger down here. Ancient danger down here. <laughs> Blade Spock. Bopinata, everyone. Bopinata. So many pancakes. Minoc. Thank you for the 11 bits. Thank you, Minoc. All right, looks like one ancient danger. We'll hit this up. We're looking for tough pawns. We're looking for weapons. We weren't looking for centipedes, so that's what we found. That's what we found.
<laughs> just run through beheading them. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I bet they were... They might have been tough. Or it could have been just been the go juice. Yeah, it was the go juice again. All right. Well, they all died. So. Ever accidentally extract someone's skull? No. Happens to me sometimes. Happens to me sometimes. Uh, let's see. All right, let's, uh, so what was in there? Architect arm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, let's stop at another one on the way home. Why not? Why not? Okay, let's take the components, the drugs. Uh, plastic as long as you have room for it. Architect arm. For certain. And the gold. That's good enough. That's good enough. Alright, let's get out of there. Was that one tough too? I mean, it doesn't matter now, but... New subscriber. Come Nimble. Oh yeah, there is a tough one. We are building an tough army. plus go juice. Ah, well. Well, they're dead. Yeah, they're not so tough anymore, unfortunately. Uh, content Wallflower. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all the support. Very much appreciated. Thanks, Wallflower. All aboard the hype. Well, it's tough, too. Yeah, they, just, they died anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter, but... I was going through it quickly, and I skipped it. Mayo and a gene for Mayo dependency. Just ability to stun pawns from remote, like, stun guns. Not a lance. Um, non-lethal things. There's mods for that, of course, but non-lethal, um, weapons would be kind of nice, yeah. Have, like, a, a gun that shoots rubber bullets or something. Or a net. A gun that shoots a net or something. There are mods for it, of course, but in the base game, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Newton is up. All right, Newton, grab your masterwork sword. You're a melee god now. Act like it. What does that mean? If you don't know, I can't teach you. Sounds like you're just a bad teacher then. Newton, I will send you out. Welcome back. Your Cage trap. Ah, uh, Silencer. Thank you for the 20 months, Silencer. 20 months. Thank you, Silencer. Are veggie meals better than normal meals? No. No, they're not. Uh, the quality of meal is the same regardless of what you make it with, unless you have someone that prefers a certain meal type from, like, if they're cannibals or something like that, or they're, like, bug meat. A gun that fires a net. Why do you keep firing a net? What's the green meals I have stocked up? So they change the graphic of meals to show what the ingredients are at a glance they changed that in like 1.3 so maybe like a year and a half ago so if it's you know vegetable it'll show if it's got meat in it it'll show just it's just that's just how the game is now so those are just the green meals you're seeing are just fungus meals just fungus meals yeah uh there used to be mods to do that but then they added it to the base game probably about a year and a half ago yeah, when ideology came out, yep. So and I think and I think ideology is about a year and a half ago. Something around there. Hopefully, we can get another tough pawn. Not well. What do we have on the sleeves here? have any that might be candidates if even if we don't get them 
tough. I got a sanguine brawler. So maybe Arison E Risen. Recluse and Sanguine are basically gonna cancel each other out, so he's pretty much just a brawler. Crafting, mining, destruction mainly. So if we don't find another one and we need another pawn, we can grab them. This one's great too. Chubnuts, great memory, nimble. Actually, Chubnuts, you're looking you're looking mighty good, Chubnuts. When did Ideology come out? Ide ideology is not 18 months old. How old is Ideology? When did it come out? Doesn't sound like Chubnuts to me. Uh, Granny has been summoned by Flapjack. All right, Flapjack, let's see what Granny has to say. You were thinking of Biotech? Yeah, Biotech is not 18 months old, but... July 2021. Yeah. So a little more than a year and a half. Yep. Did I use the social tra side trainers? I did. Yep. Am I trying to pollute the whole map? Uh, most of it. Flapjack, yeah, I do exclamation quotes. Um, now you've sent the points. Why do we have to wait for the sun to march when there's a sun blocker, huh? Cactus logging camp. Like my dear old granny used to say, she was always saying this. Let's see what she was always saying. I don't remember. I picked up a silver and 81 copper right from his groin. All right. I didn't need to know that. What is this? My own car. What? Yeah, I, I didn't have time to put anything in there today, so. Ah, well, screw it. Granny the Dirty Bird. Uh, everyone's heard about the bird. Do -do 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 -do. All right. All right. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. <laughs> Boomerang just runs in. If you guys could stop decapitating them, as we want to recruit them, that would be that would be, that'd be real cool of you. We're gonna have to go attack places with no weapons on. Like. Yep. Ah, uh, clap hands, clap hands. <laughs> Save the Twitch Prime. Hey, clap hands. Look at all that wood. I don't really want the wood, so I kind of killed these guys for almost no reason, but that's all right. Uh, I'll double check those ones. A triple granny redeem? Okay. Uh, let's see. 
But my dear old granny used to say she was always saying these three things. You like touching people? You can touch them for the greater good now. I may or may not be a chicken when I return. Granny believed in reincarnation. Who knew? No more head for you. I have no idea what she could mean by that. Something about a chicken with its head cut off? Something like that? Must be what she's talking about. That must be it. So what else could she mean? No idea. Alrighty. It's ancient danger time. That's not an ancient danger, actually. Why, Granny? Why? Because there's a light that doesn't light on one side. Wait, that's the Grinch. Uh, fire. Fire. No fire. We got this. Recording has begun. Only two caskets? I don't know. Stupid civilization only has two people. Some more loose spherium, so that's nice, I guess. Nice. All right, well, try again. Try, try, try again. Seems that we have come across um, a little bit, a little bit of uh, pemmican in our travels. Just a, just a wee bit of pemmican. Just a wee bit. <laughs> What am I hunting for? I'm hunting for tough ponds and architect stuff, yeah. Then in with sticks so they stop decapitating people. <laughs> That's maybe a good idea. Hey, I will kidnap someone from the Empire. I don't care. I'll do anything to get tough ponds. Anything. Anything. No. <laughs> What? Oh, the tribute collector is here. Okay. <laughs> Abandoned places ever go away? No, they do not. They do not. I think I'm going to call a traitor. Maybe there will be someone I can kidnap from them. I mean, enticed to stay with us indefinitely. Entice. Yeah, there's a background that has, um, yeah. It's a Hussar. Yeah. Or jeans, not background, sorry. Okay, see how they were like greenish or whatever? Go on, Waffles, welcome in. Waffles. Peacefully convince them to stay forever. Yeah. 
You can like half a year ago. Yeah, well, you're still in the, the queue for it. You know, there's there's like 10 other commands I have to make in four years, so. Sorry, L. I just a little, a little busy, a little busy, a little busy sometimes. So appreciate you. Thorns. What's that have to do with a tough pawn? L, are you trying to tell me that if I make that command, a tough pawn will spawn? I don't think so. At least that one works. Yeah, that one was redeemed like two years ago. That's good now. It will. <laughs> Laugh, it does. Pause the stream, make the new command. Tough pawn spawns. Totally how it works. Hey, stop attacking that drill. I need those. How many hives we got over here now? We're up to four. Okay. How many VIP slots are there? I think I have a hundred or something. Something like that. Spam granny, patiently wait for your command. Sound of mining, by the way. Or maybe a cat in heat. I'm not sure which one. Maybe both. I farm. Oh, I just need more defense. Yeah, so might as well just let it go for a little bit. We'll call it if it gets to twenty. Crazy. The only reason you come around here. Wow. What? What a jerk thing for my wife to say to me. What a jerk that mod wife is. Talking everything while unsubbed, even when in, in subbed only. Yeah. Yeah. That was uh. That was news to me too. to that a button there was a not a controversy but i remember when i first changed the sub icon to the a and the bits to the verses there was a lot of people were like i don't know man i don't really like this very much i think we should go just go back to where where it was and mod wife and i meet uh we met uh online on a um uh website for writing writing way back in the year 2005. Change is hard. Did I write? Uh, yes, that's why I was there. No, I was just on the writing site looking to pick up some, uh, some ladies, you know. Hmm. Hello, kitty online. No. Kill it, Newton. You're a melee god now. Show us how it how it feels. Chew five gum. It worked. Chat site like ICQ? No, 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 no. For writing like books and things, not for typing in chat. Oh, look, Ancient Danger right bias. Nice, 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 nice. What's the next thing? Uh, 
we'll look at that in a second. Ooh, two flame centipedes. Hmm. Another ancient danger over there, too. Hmm. 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 All right, all right. All right, we got the melee locked, we're good. We are good. Well, look at that. Holy crap. Great memory, super immune, hard worker. Excuse me. I need to collect your belongings. Oh, you're dead. There's a noodle in my room. I'm not sure what just happened. All right, blade spark. Static is in a daze. All oh, right, the uh, the psychic drone. I'm being noodled. A masterwork gun. What kind of blasphemy is this? I'm being beaten from a distance. Almost on there. You're almost on there. Jesus Christ. Jamming the friggin' ear cuff. Even the cat knows something's wrong. Here she's like, no, please stop. Domestic abuse, the domestic abuse. Reminds me of uh, one of those YouTube comments from a long time ago. Where someone was asking me if I was all right. They're like, is everything all right? You seem to get really annoyed when uh, your wife is... And I was like, that's called acting. It's make-believe. I thought we did all those. Apparently we didn't. No. Thought we'd done all those, apparently not. All right, come on, tough on. Come on, tough on. Uh. Ow. My shield belt. This pawn or this uh this run has been really hard to get tough pawns. It's so easy when you uh when you raise children to be tough, you know. So easy. Hey, resurrect your mech serum. Nice. Nice. Been so long since I found Red Serum in Ancient Danger. Man, oh man. How do you raise a child to be tough? It's very easy. It's super, super easy. Uh, as long as you treat the child well, you'll get a bunch of choices three different times for traits and you just pick tough. It's so easy to get God Pawns with, uh, with children. Actually nuts how easy it is. That's one reason why we decided not to do it in this one. Because I would have like 30 of these melee gods already. If we did... Uh, uh, the gene thing plus children. 
I accidentally left a horse behind at some point. <laughs> uh, oh well. Easy come, easy go, I guess. Easy come, easy go. Okay, anything else we want to pack down with on our way? I guess we could have sell this. It was like blast me though. Blast me. What tag print was that? Oh right. Um that was uh uh wait, do I not have it on the oh well I'll add it manually. Yeah, it's on the table, so we'll have to add it manually. Neural computation. Roamed away during the assault. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. None forbid, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if things are forbidden or not when you're setting up caravan. It doesn't matter. The reason that that wasn't showing up is because it was on the table and not in a zone. See all this forbidden stuff? Come on, hurry up. See, there's some forbidden stuff. Yoink, yoink. That doesn't matter. Defense for profit. Hmm. 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 And some random tough bond. Tempting. What are you doing, Newton? Ravenously hungry. Just eat food. Just eat food. Food. Oh my god, he solved world hunger by just telling people to eat. He did it. I think Newton was still, yeah, I think Newton was still drafted from the bear. I just forgot about him while I was doing ancient danger stuff. He's all right. Free catharsis. Hey, what are you doing? All right, shut the door. <laughs> Let's see. Revive YouTube. Stop it with five point five. Things feel a little bit slow. That's happened. Got out to a lot last night, all night. Couldn't believe the industry twist. Was that nuts? I'm I'm really saddened by that. Did you know about that, Mage? Have I have, have I found the thing you were talking about that you were like, I wonder if you'll find this thing that I know about, but I'm not gonna tell you. You had no clue about that. Yeah, that was that was really sad. Going ace weather guy, welcome in. All right, for you there, call for this Aries. I accidentally stumbled on it, didn't realize it, and ignored it. Hmm. I don't want to spoil it for other people in case there's people here that are blind to it, so. So cryptic, what happened? Uh, I'm not going to spoil it, so. You can either watch last night's VOD, or you can come back tonight. We'll talk about it tonight at the, at the blind stream, so. Cryptic, but for a reason, yeah. For a reason. All right. All right. What are we doing here? So we need more plasteel. Long range mineral scanner might be where it's at. 
It's like the last 10 or 15 minutes of last night's vlog, yeah. So the high second drone doing a real number on the slaves. But they knew what they were getting into when we enslaved them. Christ's sake, Aries. He's in like hyper mode at the moment, so he's like running around scratching random things and not even the door. He's just like going it. He's going crazy. He must. He must just had a big poop. <laughs> Sometimes he does that. No, the other cats do it. Sometimes after Aries uses the restroom, he's like, "All right, it's go time." By God, he just run around like jumping on things, scratch things. The zoomies, yeah. Any guides on your setup? Uh, like the base setup? No. No. Not this one. You start zooming after the litter box too. Yeah, he's the only one of ours that does that, but boy, does he. I hear him out there now playing with something, throwing something around. Oh, well, not here. Mm. All right. Hmm. I could use some of the um, suit pulsers, you know? You feel pretty great after a good bowel movement as well. You start running around your house, throwing things around. Oh my God, I feel so great. I feel so light. I'm gonna jump from couch to chair. You know what? I've never been on top. I've never been allowed to go on top of the, the table, but I'm feeling so good. I'm gonna get up there. Oh, what's this? Let me throw it on the friggin' floor. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Yours runs away like it's ashamed. Your dog does, and then he'll just immediately stop and drop on the ground. All right, I'm done. Done. We're home. Uh, welcome back. Huh. So after you get all of the tech prints, it allows you to get more, I guess. Oh, you mean it, it drops the dupes. I see. I see. I understand. I guess we'll just be trading that. We did call in some traders, uh, like last time, they'll probably get here right as a new raid happens. So all right, how many bug hives? Is it up to you? Six, it's fine. That's fine. Like they're working it out. <laughs> I think I might go ahead and uh, research the toxin filtration. I'm not sure. I have to build a new uh, research area. I wasn't initially going to do it. The reason why I'm thinking about doing it is so I can just make our own lungs and kidneys and stuff. When someone's missing one, so. <laughs> Conversation uh, is, is definitely going places, that's for sure. All right, an Akotec arm. We have two of those now? I thought we had two. Oh, the other one's probably still on the horse. Well, we don't really have a steady supply of prisoners because they all die because we're too strong and population curve is pretty high right now. All right, we're going to try to put this on Christopher. So we'll turn Christopher off. And, uh, it's not like they can do surgery on themselves anyway. Let's see. Stall. Architect arm, right shoulder. Um, mind freeze. Go ahead and take some drugs. And put the 
this arch architect arm on you. All right. All right, Cougar. Let's go. This playthrough is so different in this regard. Like, usually if someone's getting hunted by a big creature, it's like, oh, God. Quick, pull them away. Kite while we bring someone else down. And this one is just like go time. Melee experience. Never had such trouble finding uh, tough pawns. Let's see. Wall in front of your outer wall door so people can't shoot at your fighters. Um, well, one of the purposes of this playthrough is to have no kill box. So I don't know. I'm on the fence about doing it that way. I'm on the fence about doing it that way. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Chris has got that arm installed. So way to go. To go not dying during surgery. Yeah, so I haven't decided yet. I might do it for ship launch or something. We'll see. Third part is the traders are just potential. Yeah. <laughs> they show up. We just are shopping. It's like, hey, why are you guys looking? Why are you squeezing everyone's arm and stuff? No reason. We just like to make sure the people that we're trading with are very healthy. <laughs> All right. This run, the entire map is the kill box. All right. Well. Well. Okay. Thanks. So we are raid capped. So, let me time to get some fancy floors, get the the beauty even higher. Um, I'm not sure if they'll take it. They are bolt goods. I don't think so. Let me double check though. I'll double check. Girls going out, a little bit line of sight. Uh, it's it's for things for the enemy to hit on while we're separating them. And yeah, to have them have to path around while we can just use the doors. Yeah, we can't do it. How the pumps do? Are they keeping up with pollution? Uh, probably not. I probably need to put more down. But. Probably. Really don't like that psychic droner here with uh, three boss mechs and a bunch of centipedes. That would be very difficult to fight over there at it, so. And you can't wake it up with sleeping spots anymore. They fixed that. So here we are. Here we are. All right. Uh, let's see. Bugs to the left of us. Mechs to the right of us. Okay. I'm stuck in the middle with you. I offer Pollock Seeds. Yeah. I don't know. Everything's concrete and there's no sun. So. What's the best way to deal with a Droner? Basically have a raid take care of it. I can wake it up with um, like a slave that doesn't really matter. No, I can't use mortars and bombardments or salvos. No. None of that's melee, so I can't use that. So we're basically waiting for the next, uh, I would really like to have another, uh, pollution infestation. I'm not sure if you can have them at the same time as these. Yeah, there's no sun yet. <laughs> uh, I think we might actually need uranium. Okay, have we seen any uranium close by? There's that one. Or 
Great little tribute collector. All right. Tough nimble. S screw the empire. Tough nimble body modder. Who are you? But talk, talk, this, this. Not as pronounced. Holy crap. Who are you? Talk, talk anonymous. Head scars. Screw it. We got loose fear him. You know? Uh, you still get solar flares of sunblocker, yep. Right this way, sir. Right this way. I have to re-ally the Empire. And someone's, I think, coming off cooldown right now, pretty much. <laughs> Pronouncing his name that way. I'm sorry. I'm going to get some comment with someone like, that's not how you pronounce it. Hog champ. Yes. Tributing? No, no, no. no tributes. Only kidnapping. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. All right, this way, gentlemen. Right this way. Right this way. Wow, well, look, they're all here to greet us. Nice, excellent. Alexios. Takamas. Oh no, my mouth, my mouth froze. Mm. Newton, kill this guy. It's captured. It's captured. Okay, that was the right one, right? Yeah. All right. Excuse me. Is someone else getting beaten to death? Whatever. Uh, all right. Prisoner converts. Okay. Bonk. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Zach. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, using the Twitch Prime here. It's very much appreciated. Friendly, welcoming community. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excellent. Excellent. I could save that guy and send him back for some rep, but ah. Eh. Yeah, I was just looking at him, man. Yeah. Uh. Wow. Way to go, Diog Diogenes. I don't know how you pronounce any of this? Dan. It's fine. Yeah. Those are tasty. Slug's like, ah, oh, nah, did you see what they did to those other guys? <laughs> see what just happened? Smart bugs. So. Smarter than any raider I've ever seen. Thing is, he can't walk, so it'd be just a 
pain to deal with him. So, oh well. We're making so many drugs, we'll just re-ally them through, like, drugs and, you know, even meat and leather and stuff. Are bugs on? Let me check. Uh, I'm gonna go no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not. I think they're turned off. Can't remember. Can't remember. Sorry we killed your dudes. Here's some drugs. Are we cool now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're cool. We love drugs. Re-ally the anti-drug empire with drugs. Yeah, <laughs> That's right. No drugs. Ah, uh, but yeah, we'll... Why don't you turn on bugs again? I've normally shaped beavers. Uh, all the toxins. All the toxins have changed. Yeah, the beavers, the local wildlife. Medical only. Hey, what are you using all of this uh, go juice for? It's for medical purposes. Yeah, what about the flake? What are you doing with the flake? Me me medical medical purposes kind of medical things you're doing with flake you wouldn't understand you're not a doctor oh boy oh boy Uh, left shoulder. Operation. That'd be a HIPAA violation. <laughs> Christopher. Look at you, Christopher. Double Arcotech arm. Friendlies, they can turn into hats. That's not an olive branch. I don't know what is. <laughs> Wish I get some more of those uh, quests for. Uh, toxic packs. All right, that guy dies, he dies. He dies, he dies. I don't want to deal with that over there. What kind of uh, centipedes are there? They're all blasters. Slave sleeping, human leather sleeping bags. Close of pirates. They give us 13 Janissaries. Um. <laughs> what if some of those are tough? Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of meat shield we can throw at the enemy, but they're going to be very unhappy. Like, they're... Any of the helpers are going to be breaking down almost immediately because of the minus 30 psychic drone. So our best bet, if we did this, would be to grab all 13 and try to destroy the psychic droner. If I do that, then we have to fight these mechs. Unless these are here by then. Ugh. Going to Gamer Dragon Bomb. Welcome in. And that could be a real big mess. 
I also don't know if they'll... Yeah, that's what I was wondering too. That's why I was looking at the rep. They might end up hostile. I'm not sure. Probably shouldn't risk it. I was at that other tile. Yeah, Cassandra's gonna attack any moment. Also a suppressor, yeah. What's the runs theme? Actually, you should run if you type that in chat, it'll tell you. It's going evil welcome in. There it is. Thank you, Jackson. Probably shouldn't risk it. We have so much uh Lucerium, I think it's time to put it on everyone. Like I already have it in everyone's pocket. And we're at raid cap, so. And if I end up screwing up and I forget someone they die, I have a res serum, so. Writing our apology letters to the Empire? I'm not sure yet. Chance another spawns on the back. The problem is we can't wake it up. Can't wake it up. As for all female Janissaries, that, that might be a little weird. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start... Start going on the loose spherium. Too poor for you. Made a barracks believer out of you. They're so strong, yeah. All right, let's do it. The devil's bar bargain. Here we go. Almost two years worth. Yeah, we can get more. All right, Christopher. Welcome to the dark side. You will now have to take Luciferium. Every six point tonight we dine in hell. Every six point six six days, or you will die. Hey, Waffles, thank you for the six hundred sixty six bits. Thanks, Waffles. I appreciate it. All right, Lumberjack. Crack is already on it. Mind freeze. Shikan. Blade Spark. Lock. Bemo. Dude's like, wait, what did I get myself into? Godhood. There we go. Hang on, one second. I gotta, I gotta see something. I just gotta see something real quick. Look at Blade Spark stats. <laughs> Not even death cures this fear addiction. No. Not even beheading. Yeah. Look at those stats. 198% manipulation. 200% sight. 150% hearing. Blood filtration is at 170. They're on some super drugs. That's in uh, compared to like a normal pawn. <laughs> I feel like four arms. Goro, Goro. Uh, I need to split the recording. Let me just split that really quick.